Hi everyone, this is Victoria Wolders, your My Kids Locker COVID-19 Ed podcast host. I'm so excited that you joined us this morning, and I hope that you can reach out to me at mykidslocker.com if you have questions or you're interested in connecting with me. Well, today we are going to do another story. This one's called The Daughters and Dice. And today you are going to be creating puppets. Yes, puppets. It's going to be super fun. So as a mom and a teacher, I know these are difficult times. And some boys and girls that are out there that are listening right now have been able to follow me and listen to all our different episodes. I hope through your creations and through what you're doing, you will see beauty in the world and that th- these activities will bring you joy to ev- joy to yourself, but also to everyone around you. Um, as we move forward into our episode, there's going to be three parts. Part one is listen, part two is create, and part three is innovate. You will hear about an activity, which is creating puppets, and then you're going to hashtag MyKidsLocker or hashtag COVID19Ed on your social media platforms. Love to connect with you. Love to see your creations. So without further ado, I hope you enjoy this lesson. To part one, are you comfy? Are you cozy? Well, get ready to listen. Welcome to part one. Listen. Well, today we are going to be focusing on a story called The Daughters and the Dice. And the quote today, straight from our empathy tale, is they will come to learn about empathy and compassion in their hearts. When was the last time you saw someone be empathetic? Now, remember, empathy means feeling what another person feels. When was the last time someone said to you, I understand what you're feeling. As we're going through the COVID-19 ed podcast, there are times where we'll be reflecting on how we can be a better person. Well, today is one of those days. Take some time to think about empathy. Take some time to think about what it means to care for other people and for them to care back for you. The COVID-19 pandemic has affected many of us. And as we sit here, we realize that this is a very painful and suffering time. We cannot control these events And unfortunately, many of us wish they would just, wish that we could control them. And as adults and as kids, we don't have that control. But what we do have control on is to be able to connect during this time, to show empathy and compassion. So when someone is hurting, perhaps if someone is angry, perhaps if someone is sad, you can go up to them. And tell them, I know how it feels. Because perhaps you have felt the same thing. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this listen part. And you'll be able to walk away thinking about how you can be empathetic. And feel what another person feels. We're now moving on to part two. Hi everyone, welcome back to part two today. We are going to create something amazing. And let's get craft, 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 crafty. Bye. Well, welcome to part two. Today, we are going to be focusing on layout, which means that you get to design and be an architect today. Well, this story called The Daughters and the Dice are about four daughters and three wizards. Each of them have very interesting personalities. Now, Although I may not go into great detail about their personalities, I do, I do describe a little bit about them. The youngest is very kind and gentle. So while you are designing and building your characters, your puppets, you want to make sure that you're showing a face that represents what the character is like or how the character is described. 
As we focus on characters this week, we have to remember that characters are an extremely important part of a story. So I hope that you enjoy the story. I hope that you hashtag my kids locker and hashtag COVID 19 ed on social media so we can see your creations. I would love to see them. Well, we are now going to move on to part two, just after I tell you a little bit about the story. So this story is about four daughters who live in a farm in the middle of the grasslands. They're, they come to know three wizards. And now you are going to listen to the story. Once upon a time, a long time ago, there lived a family in the Oak and Eagle Kingdom. The family consisted of four daughters, and they lived in a cottage in the middle of the grasslands, in the land of the Northern Eagles. And there was no mother, because she had passed away several years ago. There was no father, because he unfortunately died in an accident many years ago. So the four girls had to fend for themselves. They ranged in age from 10 to 20. They each had very special, unique qualities. All four of them lived a life where they had to till the land, and they had to sow the seed, and they had to harvest the crop every year. Often, they depended on making sure that their livestock was well kept. The only thing was, out of the four girls, only one of them grew through empathy and through compassion. The other three became very selfish, and as they grew older over the years, their hearts hurt. Yet the youngest was the one who softened. Often there, there be many arguments about who should have feed for the livestock, or who should sow the seed, or who should, who sh- should harvest the grain. Most of the time, three of the four daughters would argue, and it was not a happy place to be. The last daughter, who was the fourth, had a kind and gentle heart and was always willing to help others out and talk to them. As they grew older, they still lived at home, and they were they all chose to not marry but stay with their siblings. However, the three older sisters wanted more. They wanted riches. They wanted fame, and they wanted wealth. They became envious of those around them. One day, there was a knock at the door. There was a man at the door, and he looked at the four sisters and asked, Would you please give me some money? I would like to buy some bread from the village, and I am a very poor man. This man was an old man. He looked like he had difficulty walking and breathing. Well, the first sister said, I have money, but I'm not going to give you that money because I've worked hard for it. The second sister said, There is no way I'm going to give you money. This money I'm going to use to pay for my clothes. And the third sister replied, Yes, I am never even going to give you a single penny because you look so poor, and I don't give money to the poor. The fourth sister, the one full of empathy and compassion, went close to the old man and gave him every coin she had in her pocket. She said, Here, old man, here's the money. I do not have much. But I am going to give you this money, and this money is meant for you. The old man smiled and said, I am grateful. He turned around and left. After the door closed, the three eldest sisters became angry with each other. They started to notice that one of them had more money than the other. The fourth daughter just walked away, knowing she didn't have much money. But she knew that she made someone happy and chose to be kind with her heart. A couple weeks later, another man came to the door. Once again, another old man 
and this man was wearing black. He had a hood over his head. This man said, Hello, I am here, and I need a glass of water. Would you be able to give me a glass of water? The first sister said, I'm sorry, but we don't have much water here, so I'm not going to give you be able to give you any water. The second sister said, You know, I have some water, but I'm going to keep it for me. The third sister said, Old man, you know where to get water. You can go all the way down past the pastures and go get some water from the lake. You can do that yourself. The fourth sister, the one filled with empathy and compassion, walked to the man and gave him her glass of water. He drank it, and he looked at her and said, Because of your kindness, you will be gifted. The man turned around and left. Soon after that, the girls started arguing. The fourth sister walked away while the three eldest sisters started arguing about how much water they each had. Well, a couple weeks later went by and a third man came knocking at the door. This man was wearing a gray cloak and he said, Hello, I am here. You do not know me, but I am impoverished and I need some new shoes. Would you be able to give me some shoes? Well, the first sister said, I don't think so. We might have our, our father's old shoes, but I don't want to give them away. The second sister said, I do have some money for you to get new boots, but I'm not going to give it to you. The third sister said, you all need to go to the village and maybe go to the church. Maybe the church will be able to give you shoes, old man. Well, the fourth sister knew that her father had given her a pair of his shoes for safekeeping. So she went and found them under her bed. She said, I know you have smaller feet, yet I think you can use my father's shoes. He looked at her and said, I am very grateful. Thank you so much for these shoes. You will re be rewarded. You have a giving heart. Your heart is like water to my soul, and I am grateful. He left shortly after they got into they he left shortly after they got into an argument about the shoes and boots, the three older sisters. A couple days passed, and there was a knock at the door. This time there were the visiting three men. The man who needed the money, the man who needed some water, and the man who needed the shoes. All three of them were there, and the door flung open. They said to the four daughters, All of you were given opportunities to be able to serve the impoverished and the poor. You were given opportunities to give money, water, and clothing. Three of you chose not to give. Three of you will recognize that your heart needs to change. We are the three wizards of the land, and we are not happy with the three eldest sisters. They looked at the fourth daughter and replied, What do you have to say? She gazed at the men pleaded, and pleaded, Please have mercy on them. They don't know and understand what to do. Could you please help them and guide them? Would you maybe help them with their compassion and empathy? The three wizards looked at her with mercy, but they felt that these three sisters had to learn their lessons. The wizards discussed, and each wizard rose each of their right arm up into the sky. As each of them raised their arm, a large mountain formed in the distance. These three mountains were formed in the distant meadow far from the cottage. We will have mercy on you. Although we have created mountains, we will put the three sisters on hilltops. We hope for you to learn how to be compassionate and empathetic. The fourth daughter said, well, what about me? One of the men shared, we have been refreshed and renewed with your giving spirit. We are now going to put flowing water through this beautiful valley, and it is a testimony to all that you are a symbol of kindness to your family among the mountains. Your empathy has helped many people and, help, and helped us. 
You have fed us. You have clothed us. And you have allowed us to drink. We are grateful for you. The water will have fish in it. It will have insects. It will have wildlife. And it will forever be able to be living off. You will be able to forever live off the land. We will set you in a castle on the edge of this flowing river. And it will, it will go through the valley. Your sisters will be high on mountains. And you will not be set And you will not be set on the mountain because of your heart. The fourth daughter, feeling agony over her selfish sisters, being cast onto each of the mountains, fell on her knees. She said to the wizards, have mercy on them. Please forgive them. The wizards felt mercy and compassion. The men had mercy. We will give you dice. Your eldest sister is number one, your second eldest is number two, and your third eldest is number three. When you roll a one, two, or three on one of the die, then that sister will come visit you that day. There will be times where you will have two sisters visit you. If you roll a four, five, or six, then no sister will visit you. They will be able to learn what it means to be empathetic and compassionate when they come to visit you. We will send a northern eagle to you so that the northern eagle reaches out to, to them on their mountaintops to tell them it is their time to come visit. We will come visit you every week and we will ask your sisters about the ways they can show compassion. She said... Thank you very much for sparing their lives and not turning them into mountains. Thank you, for, thank you so much for teaching me the power of empathy. The three wizards smiled. There will be a day in the coming months where your three sisters will enter your castle and they will be able to stay with you always because they have learned their lesson. They will come to learn about empathy and compassion in their hearts. They will learn about vulnerability and the importance of being able to forgive and love one another. The three sisters cried, and they hugged the youngest sister. The eldest sister cried, We will be back soon. The wizards cast the three sisters up to the top of their mountains and set cottages up there with enough food for each of the three sisters to eat. The fourth daughter was placed in a castle. After several months, the three sisters came to live in the castle with the youngest daughter. They all became empathetic, compassionate, and came to learn to love and show unconditional love to their neighbors. The three wizards and the four daughters grew to love and care for each other, and the Oak and Eagle Kingdom was a better land because of the daughters and the dice. The end. Hi, everyone. It's time to innovate, part three. I hope that you enjoyed our story today, and I hope you were able to start creating your puppets. Perhaps you might want to post them on social media. We'd love to see them. Make sure you include my handle. You can find me on all major social media platforms, and you can also hashtag MyKidsLocker and hashtag COVID19Ed. Well, we are now moving on to innovate and Uh, the opportunity to be able to do a challenge. Well, today for your challenge, this is a very unique one. You're going to try to focus on being kind to other people. Okay. It could be kindness to your, yourself, kindness to your, um, family that's near you. Or if you're lucky enough and you are able to be in the community, then possibly kindness to other people outside your house. So today you will write a thank you card for someone that has really helped you. Perhaps focus on some very good um, details of how they've helped you. Maybe they're kind, patient, gentle. And try to write as many sentences as you can. For those younger listeners, you might want to just draw a picture. So you want to take a piece of paper, fold it, and 
make a card, a thank you card for someone who has helped you. Maybe someone's made you dinner. Maybe someone's made you breakfast. Maybe someone has made you a hot cup of hot chocolate. Who knows? But whatever it is, just take some time to thank them as your challenge today. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this beautiful story of the Daughters and the Dice. And I hope that you continue to tune in to My Kids Locker COVID Ed, sorry, COVID 19 Ed podcast. And I want to remind you, we are all in this together. Well, we all working through, through this podcast to have less screens, listen, create, and innovate. Until next time, boys and girls, keep safe and keep well. Thank you so much for joining us.